today I'll be showing you how to make a free trade bot in Steam. This will work with any Steam game that you have in your library on the account you're going to use, whether it be CSGO or Dota, and it also works with any free game like TF2. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to download the files I have in the description, I'll have the link in the description for that. It's the, the actual trade bot files, and you also need Desktop Authenticator, which I've showed you guys how to use before in a video. So once you install that, you'll just add the account. On here, and I already, I've already added mine, so you'll just push set up new account, use your login information, then you'll come up right here and give you your code. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to open this file and you want to try to find the file for this account. So, you're going to go to MA Files and it'll be this one. Uh, if this is your only account, it'll be the only one in here. I have multiple accounts on this, so it'll be this one for me. And you, what you do is you right click and open with Notepad or just normal Notepad. So now that I have this open, I'll do this. Now I'm going to open up these files, and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called bot. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to copy all these files like this and drag them into your bot file. That'll take a minute to transfer, but once it does, you can close this out and you will not need this anymore. So now you're going to open up your bot folder, and you're going to go to config. Actually, here, you're going to go to readme first. This will explain some of this stuff. So this will explain how to fill it out if you just want to stop watching now. But uh, some of this stuff is kind of important. Uh, here's how you get your secrets. If you're on if you're using the Android phone, you can use this, iOS here, or you can use Desktop Authenticator, which is what I recommend. It's probably the easiest, and that's right here. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. And now you're going to go to the config file, and you're going to open that with Notepad++ if you have it. So now you're going to fill this out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to use the username of the bot. So this is the one used to make the account, like log into the account. This is not the one that shows up on Steam. So for this particular one, it's WinBigCSGO uh, Bot01, I believe. So there's that. I'm going to fill in the password um, off camera, obviously. But you'll just type in your password right there. Okay, so now you get your shared secret. You go back to your the file you got from the desktop authenticator and right here it'll say shared secret and you copy with everything in quotation marks Ooh, I just messed that up hold on so you can you're copy everything in quotations even that uh, equal sign right there so you'll do that and now you'll go back to your config and you'll put that in a shared secret then you're gonna go back again sorry I keep clicking out of it and you're gonna scroll over until you find identity secret. It'd be a number kind of just like this, the shared secret. And here it is, identity secret. And you're gonna copy that and paste that in there. So pull time, that's how many seconds it'll take before it accepts or declines offers. So I kind of recommend 15 seconds, but if you don't really care too much, you want to just kind of go slower, you can put 60. But 15 means it'll accept or deny trades every 15 seconds. Make sure you put at least above 5 in here or it'll, it won't work. So, uh, game ID. So this is the game you're going to be trading on. So, for example, 440 is TF2. How you find out what game you're on is you go to your Steam and you go to the store. So, you, if you say you want Counter-Strike. So you go to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And if you click on it, this number right here will be whatever number it takes to get into Counter-Strike. So Counter-Strike is 730 if you guys want to use it for Counter-Strike. So what you do is you just go type in 730 here and then it'll be a bot for that game. But since I do not have Counter-Strike on this bot, I'm going to put in TF2 because you can use any free game or any game that's in your library. So TF2 is free so obviously it's in your library. So you'll just save this file and I'll be back with the password in and we can test it out. Okay guys, I'm back. So once you get that saved and you have all your passwords and stuff in, it's literally all set up. So all you have to do now is do start bot and you run. And this will run some stuff and it'll say says it logged into web API and it'll say now online playing Team Fortress 2 for my bot. So this will come up saying that you're playing whatever game that your bot is doing. So this one says Team Fortress 2. But if you're if you have it set to CSGO, it'll say CSGO or whatever. 
So that means the bots online, so if I trade a, something, a TF2 item, it will automatically accept that if it's uh, profit, and it will not decline it if it's not profit. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more videos, please subscribe. Uh, this is a quick one for how to do it on your computer. You can This runs on your computer to making it free. But you, once you shut down your computer, it will turn off. If you guys want to see a video on how to do it on like a VPS, so it runs 24-7 not being on your computer, let me know, and I can do that as well. Uh, if you guys have any other video suggestions, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching.